What's up folks, today I want to talk about corporate swag. Over the past couple of years, I've slowly amassed probably one of the largest collections of company and corporate swag. Stuff that's been sent to me, stuff that's been given to me as an employee of tech companies, stuff that I've picked up at trade shows. And as such, I feel uniquely positioned to determine what makes a good piece of swag or a bad piece of swag. A good piece of corporate swag has a virality potential. It has the potential to be memorable to delight people who are your prospective or existing customers. Meanwhile, a bad piece of swag isn't gonna do any damage, but it might be a total waste of money if no one's ever gonna use it for anything other than going to the gym and maybe wearing it to bed. We're gonna be looking at five key categories. T-shirts, headwear, mugs, outdoor wear, and novelty items, miscellaneous. Let's dive right in. So first of all, there's the T-shirts. The most basic version of this is doing a black t-shirt with your company's logo on it. Frankly, unless you work at the company whose logo is on the t-shirt, there's no real incentive to ever want to wear something like this other than maybe going to bed. People don't be walking billboards for tech companies that no one outside of the industry has ever heard of. These can be nice to give to employees because they are probably quite proud to work at that company. But even if someone is a customer, they don't want to walk around and be like, yeah, I freaking love techcompany.io. Let's check out a couple of these t-shirts, shall we? Proposify, secure freight, lavender.ai, aspire ship, trumpet, scratch pad, sell better, talker to, panda dog, sasta, mailshake, and vidyard. So those are what I would define as probably the most basic type of company swag, just a t-shirt with the company's logo on it. I would argue that all of those companies with their t-shirts are plenty a little bit too safe. What you can do is start to make swag that people would actually choose to wear. Your logo can still be on it, but it's not the focus of the swag. Here are some examples. Sales Loft with this on-brand green sales nerd t-shirt. Six cents with this I love BDRs t-shirt. Audience Plus with this every company is becoming a media company t-shirt. Comsore with this dog me t-shirt. I don't actually know what that means, but it's, it's embroidered. This is probably the highest quality t-shirt in the whole pile. Sell better again, but this time it says, thank you for opening my email. And then it says, sell better on the back. Sales Rebellion with this choose legendary t-shirt. Eat, sleep, create, repeat. Nice t-shirt, but this, the so no, no one needs to see my chest up. The Sales Rebellion again with this Rebellicious t-shirt. Sasta with Sasta is my peeps. Lavender with this I hope this email finds you well t-shirt. Mutiny with this Get In Loser, we're getting pipeline t-shirt with a bunch of raccoons on it. My son loves this one, this one's. And I would say like a gold star to Audience Plus with this custom jersey. It's customized for all of their customers. I quit right after this, so. Didn't really get to show off too much. So yeah, if you're gonna make t-shirts, I would go with the latter. Don't make your brand the focus. Sure, you can have your brand somewhere on the t-shirt, but make the main priority of the t-shirt, make yourself fun, that your audience, your customers, your prospects are actually likely to wear. Next up, let's talk about headwear. Now headwear, again, falls into a lot of the same traps that the t-shirts did. Just whacking a logo on something, not doing anything special. I have a further gripe to pick with the headwear swag, and that is that the majority of hats that companies send me, give to me at events, they're all dad hats. A dad hat is like one of these. If I put it on, you'll see why I don't like wearing them. Because I look like a absolute div. Chili Piper, Sendoso, this one's from Agora Pulse, Aurum, and also aligned just with the mesh in the back instead of the full hat. You lose points just because you make me look stupid. I don't look good in a dad hat. Now, a few that were still dad hats, but have something else going for them are ones like Sensebar. So that looks like a normal hat, but the materials on this one are really nice. It's got a nice leather strap at the back, which gives it extra points. I got this one from Calendly, an event, and they actually allowed me to customize it, which I thought was a cool extra addition. But again, it's a dad hat. I just, I just won't ever wear this. However, Panda Doc do get some extra brownie points because this is a Nike hat. It's a branded hat. It's got the Nike tick on the back. It's got a nice strap. This is actually probably one that I might wear if I ever take up golfing. This is a good hat. I'm gonna wear this one more often. Now my preferred style of hat is a snapback like this one from Sales Assembly. And they've actually made a cool hat because it says I love sales and they've only put their brand on the back there. So the focus of the hat is not their logo or their brand. The focus of the hat is that it's a hat that I would actually wear because it's cool. Well, cool's not probably the right word for it, but it's a hat that's that's something else. This one's from Wingmate and got a little rubber thing under the cap there, which is a nice touch and uh, makes it a little bit more special. This one's from my friend the Seacom. The team at Sales Rebellion, this one again is pretty cool. It's not just their logo, it's like special. And this one's actually really high quality. That, that thing on the front is like a rubber 
thing that's stuck there versus an embroidery or print. And again, we've got a leather strap at the back, so it's just a higher quality item to me. However, my favorite hat that I've ever gotten from a brand has got to be Big Deal Energy from Scratch Pad that I picked up at Sasta. Now, sadly, my puppy did get a hold of this one and chewed it. And it's a shame because this is by far my favorite hat. It's high quality, it's got this string here. That embroidery is like puffy embroidery, so it actually sticks out. They did include their brand on it, but just on the side. And originally it had quite a nice strap there as well, but the dog got that. And then, and then under the lid, you got these cool pans, which is just so real special. I think they did this one in collaboration with Dr. Hudson Golfware. Just shows that this is like a, a special item, probably my favorite swag item in this entire room. And then lastly, the only one that's not a cap or a snapback is this beanie from Sendoso. I'm a big fan of beanies. This is inclusive of people who live in the north. And their branding on it is super sleek. It's black hat with black embroidery. It's discreet, but it's still there. I probably wear this almost every time I leave the house in the winter time. I would love to see more companies leaning into the winter weather. So those are the hats. Again, sticking your logo on a hat, especially a dad hat, it, it's just not anything special these days. Whilst I appreciate all those hats, thanks for giving them to me. I don't want to seem ungrateful. The hats that really stood out to me are the ones that aren't so brand forward and are more like something else and then the brand is like a side dip. Next, let's get on to mugs. So up front, mugs to me are a good swag item. They're cool, they're useful, I will use them. I like to display these on my bookcase. We got this one here from Proposify. I like the fact that they include their brand color on the inside and handle. This one here from Chili Piper. This one's got a really nice matte finish to it and it's shiny on the inside. Big fan. This Wednesday women kind of like wine slash, you know, cold or warm drink tumbler. Beat to beast, you're a beast mug. Sadoso with the thermal mug. Uberflip with the thermal bottle. Six cents with an I Love BDR's thermal bottle. Job.com with another thermal bottle. And here's where companies get pretty darn cool. When they start to use mainstream brands and put their logos on them. For example, Scratchpad with this humongous Yeti mug. Sendoso with another Yeti mug. Vidya with another Yeti in brand color as well. And Pandadot with another Yeti mug. This one's a touch bigger than the Sendoso one, but who's measure it? Mugs are a very safe bet. I'm a big fan of the mug situation, especially the Yeti mugs. Those are cool. And then next up, the outerwear category. These already being out to wear, make them in a whole other tiered to t-shirts. I would say by giving you a hoodie, a jacket, or a vest instead of a t-shirt, you're already gonna be doing better, even if it's just your logo on it. Starting off with this LinkedIn hoodie. This thing is like one of my prized possessions. They've got embroidery on the sleeves, on the thing. It's got a cool message on the back saying I'm a creator. And this is super thick, it's a nice material. Vidyard with this pullover. Again, a pullover, I don't get these often. It feels special. You might recognize this next one. It's the Comsol Purple semi-viral hoodie. Loads of big names on LinkedIn got these hoodies and stuff post themselves wearing them and got a lot of Comsor's name and awareness out there. This Sam Sales hoodie, I'm not gonna put it on because it's a medium so it doesn't fit me. And then Wingmate, again, they've got really high quality swag. This hoodie right here, I wear this quite a lot to be honest, even though it just says Wingmate on it. And then lastly, this Chili Piper jacket, I've worn this pretty much all winter long. It's warm, it's practical. It's cool, it feels like it's made of a nice material. Alongside the scratch pad hat, this is probably one of my favorite items of swag I have. And then finally, there's the novelty category. Things like fridge magnets, stickers. I love stickers a lot. I've got a whole shelf just of brand stickers. These are super great to hand out at events because they're really portable and they don't take up much space in your suitcase. Sendoso even sent me like a mini Jenga set with their logo on it. That's like outside the box. It's something special. Panda Doc and this camera cover. Swag.com and their dog bandana that he sent me, which doesn't fit my dog, so I've never put it on. I could probably put it on my cat but they'd get angry. This Panda Doc card holder for the back of your phone. A Sendoso mini football. This like, thing, Project Pinata influences $33 million in pipe delight. Viewfinders from Sendoso, but it's all Sendoso case studies. That's really unique, I love the fact. Never actually looked inside this thing. I'd also argue that kids clothes fit into this category. There is nothing more memorable than seeing your kid wearing someone's brand. This one's from Sell Better, supported by SaaS Sales. This is a phone that plugs into your computer from Oro who are a cold calling tech company. In fact, I just got this box right here from a company called Magical, which is just filled with gum. Magical sales gum to make you 30% more productive. 
chew up your quota, pop your commission. Again, novelty, but memorable. And I'm, you know, I, I chew gum, so I'm gonna chew all of this gum. Anyway, if you're thinking about Ultra Kick swag campaign, don't just slap your company's logo on something and think people want that. No, I would make it so it could a little bit cooler. Put something funny on it. Make your logo smaller and use higher quality products. Let me know in the comments, what is the coolest piece of corporate swag that you've ever received as an employee, as a customer, as a prospect at a trade show? Keep it real and subscribe.